This is a short video showing the steps involved to processing the service release 4 for Peachtree 2011. Now, often you'll get an error message that says you can't connect to your data file. This may be because you need to double click on your map drive in my computer and provide a username and password. And then that should load the network drive contents. Um, so once you have that connected, then go into your Peachtree. This assumes that you have a working copy of Peachtree and everything's been working fine. Uh, you can see it loaded here. When you exit, you'll be notified that there is an update available. It's Service uh, Release 4, SR4, for 2011. And so you probably click on Run and continue that process. Um, but as you will see here shortly, um, after you go ahead and click Yes to process that update, you'll get an error message that says the update needs to be run on the server first. And this is actually incorrect because in the example I'm showing you here, um, it actually already is running on the server. In order to correct for this problem, you're going to need to carefully edit a configuration file. The file is called Peachtree 180 and it's located in Program Files, Common Files, Peach. Um, you want to open that file and you'll find part way down something that says data path is S or whatever your server drive letter is. You want to change that to be the local directory that's actually found here and you can see displayed. Once that's done, and saved, then you can go ahead and run the SR4 update. You can actually find that on the server under the Peachtree folder. There's a folder called Updates. You can just click and drag that to the desktop and then go ahead and run that update. Now the second time around, because you've modified that Peachtree 180 file, you'll just step through the options as they should have run the first time and go ahead and accept the default settings. And you'll see there are a few stages here, step one, two, and three of the installation. And those slides are processing right now. You can see them going through. But the key to all of this is to going into that area, as I mentioned before, program files, common files, peach, and finding the peach tree 180 file, and changing the data path from the server path to, um, you may need to pause the video back a little bit where I was showing that, but you want to change that file for this update to work. The problem is that for some reason it incorrectly identifies the server's version of Peachtree, and so it thinks that you can't update the client. But anyway, once the update is processed, go ahead and click Finish, and you won't be done until you go back into that Peachtree 180 file and change the data path back to what it had been before for the server. Uh, that's whatever your drive letter is. So that's it.